9 and 23. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily. And do what? Follow me. What this scripture is saying, look at the cross. Look at what Jesus has done for you. Look at the sacrifice. Look at the bloodshed. This is the basis for all of Christianity. It's not a get rich scheme. Yes, there is blessings. But a nice car uh, because of a good job is not Christianity. Your boat and your nice home doesn't mean you're blessed. Your bank account full, your car and your house paid for. None of this means that you are blessed. The Bible makes it perfectly clear who is a blessed man. Psalms, 81, Psalms 84 and 5, blessed is the man whose strength is in thee. Hallelujah. Never does this scripture say the riches of this world. Psalms 40 and 4, blessed is a man that maketh the Lord his trust. Hallelujah. I'm talking about blessings today. I'm not talking about money or anything in this world. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in Him. Hallelujah. Psalms 1 and 1, one of my favorite scriptures, and Pastor quotes it, Blessed is the man, meaning happy is the man that walketh, meaning his lifestyle, not in the counsel of the ungodly, meaning his life, according to the Word of God, nor standeth in the way of the sinner, meaning doesn't live a life of sin, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. What this scripture is saying is that a blessed man is living his life according to the word of God. Hallelujah. It doesn't talk about any monetary value. You can have all the world's and its riches and everything it holds. You can have every bit of its money, all its silver and its gold. You can own all the finest houses and a land on a thousand hills. But give me that Holy Ghost power. This Jesus I can feel. Hallelujah. Do you believe that today? Why? Because nothing else satisfies. Nothing else soothes my doubts and calms my fears. And nothing else saves my loved ones. Nothing else saves my son, saves my daughter, saves my mother, saves my father, my grandmother. My, nothing else can satisfy. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalms 1 and verse 2, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law does he both meditate day and night. His delight is spending time with the king. That's a blessed man. Hallelujah. His delight is having moments in his presence. His delight is lifting his hands and worshiping his king. His delight is being in the house of the Lord. I said, being in the house of the Lord, giving him all the glory. His delight is declaring the goodness and mercy of God afforded to us through the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. On down in verse 3. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of living water, meaning unshakable. With that, he has access to the river of life, the living water that bringeth forth fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. I want you to really think about this scripture in Psalms 1 and 3. His leaf also shall not wither. That's it. What this scripture says is his leaf shall not wither. It's referring to the fact that everything that man does eventually dies or fades away. But everything that Jesus does, it lives forever. Hallelujah. That blood is still sufficient today. 2,000 years ago, when it trickled, hallelujah. No, it didn't trickle. It flowed, a hallelujah. And it flows to the Lord. Hallelujah. There's power, power, wonder-working power in the precious Hallelujah. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything that we do will eventually fade away. Hallelujah. Houses we built. Cars we buy. Hallelujah. Vacations we went on. We have nothing but the pictures to remember. But this salvation is from everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. I don't need anything. Hallelujah. I don't need anything in this life. But Jesus, hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. I don't need anything down here 
for me to be called less, Luke 12 and 15. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetous, for a man's life consists not in the abundance of things which he possesses. I'm blessed because he saved me. I'm blessed because he set me free. I'm blessed because the creator of the universe that flung the stars into space and he, he, he spoke his breath of life into the Lady Jace Michaels on, Sun, on Sunday. Hallelujah. He breathed his breath of life into her body. I saw her first breath. It was the most heavenly thing I've ever seen. When God takes, uh, takes his breath and he breathes it into that child's life, there's nothing like it. You see, I'm blessed because I'm on my way to heaven and the journey gets... I'm blessed because I can walk with Jesus. I can talk with... I'm blessed because my name is recorded in the Lamb's Book of Life. I'm blessed because living, He loved me. Dying, He saved me. Buried, He carried my sins far away. Rising, He justified, freed me forever. And one day, He's coming back. Oh, glorious day. Give the Lord a great big hand. Hallelujah. He set me free. Oh, he set me free. He broke the bond of prison for me. I'm glorious.